Okay, so to make the chicken mole, you need this. Oh my gosh, what is that? And Don Maria, and this is concentrated paste. And then for every one of those jars that you make, you need one and a quarter to one and a half wheels of the Abuelita Mexican chocolate. Okay? I cook my chicken in water, garlic salt, garlic powder, onion, and cumin, and then salt. And you boil it until it's like two-thirds done. And then you take it off and you put it in a bowl like this on the side and just lay it to the side. And you're going to take the juice from the chicken, and you've just covered the chicken, by the way. And you're going to put some in a separate pot like this on the side for your, uh, um, for your white rice that you're going to make with it. And then for this pot, I have probably about six or eight cups of juice inside of here. And then I have my red chilies, um, the uh, crushed red chilies because I like it hot too. The mole concentrate, about a cup and a half of the, the caldo from the soup. And Resign. since I'm making, two, I'm doing a video, since I'm making two and a half, um, or two jars, sorry, lost my concentrate. I put in two and a half wheels of the chocolate, whole wheels. Now we're gonna blend. <laughs> Wait, why do you take your shirt off? Of course. And I need some more caldo. Let me mix this up a little bit. Um, because you use the hot juice from the chicken because you want to get the, the chocolate and everything to melt. Are you putting this on YouTube? Is that what this is for? Yeah, Jesse wanted to know how to make it, so I'm teaching my children how to make it. Your brothers. How's that? You're putting this on and it's for the sauce? Yeah, this is how to make mole, chicken mole sauce. My chicken mole sauce. Okay, there we go again. Boy, that stick. So you keep stirring and blending. Stirring and blending and, and stirring and blending and blending and stirring. By blending in, you get the fresh red chilies all mixed in. So now everything's mixed. I'm going to take it off. 
and you're going to pour it right into the juice. And you're going to have to scrape the blender because you're going to get everything out of it. And it is really hot, so be careful because the, um, the caldo from the cooking chicken makes it hot. And at this point, you really should not taste it because... Um, the flavor is going to change once you get it in all the juice. Okay, so I'm going to get it off my spoon. Let me get a bigger spoon so that we can steer everything really nice. I'm going to turn this on low, nice and loose, and then we're going to start stirring it. And it mixes right in with the, the sauce that you have in there. And this will thicken, the longer you cook it, the thicker it gets. So when you first pour it in there, don't get discouraged. No, what are you doing? You can't have any of that. It's going to burn you. Since I have a lot of mole still left in here, I'm gonna um, take some of the, the mole in here and run, run it around in there. Cause see how thin this is right now? And that's because it hasn't um, cooked long enough to get thick again, or to get thick. But I don't wanna waste the mole sauce that's in there too. My sons appreciate this because I am definitely no Martha Stewart <laughs> trying to keep the conversation going while I'm out. I'm going to talk to myself in my room. Okay, so I'm going to bring it over so you can see the consistency. Okay. If I can do two things at once, let me see. All right, so here it is. Oh, that's good. See how it's kind of thin? It will concentrate. So we will. Um, some more juice in it. I can tell by the flavor how concentrated it is and how strong it's going to be. And this is pretty strong. I'm gonna put the other. What? I'm gonna put the other uh, half of uh, chocolate in it because I can still taste some bitter. So we're gonna do this. Get a little bit of the the mole sauce from in there, and then we're gonna put a little bit, and I mean like a half a cup, or about a cup, I guess, of the juice here from the chicken stock and we'll put it to the side. And then we're going to put it here and go ahead and add the other half of the Wilita chocolate. So that makes three total wheels for two packages. And then I'm going to blend. <laughs> The 
chocolate mixes up really nice and just melts right in there. And we're going to pour it in, which is nice because I got the rest of the mole that was stuck in there off as well. Okay, now we're going to mix again. It takes a good hour and a half to make this because um, you have to boil the chicken and then you add all the spices and now it's going to much better. Still may be kind of strong though. to know the flavors and the taste. I hardly use any additional salt because I cook the chicken and chicken bouillon. I add it to the water to, to boost the flavor. So salt is sparing on it. over from the color from the chicken you use it to make the white rice with. Adds a little bit of flavor to the rice as well. Oh there we go we're almost there. By the time this cooks down it'll be perfect. Okay now you um, let it you put it on low and let it come to a boil. Be very very careful no pancho. Be very careful not to, uh, here, try it. Be very careful not to um, burn it. Because it does have chocolate in it and all those chili sauces. So you want to reheat it and bring it to a boil very slowly. And once it boils, you add the chicken, put it on simmer and cover it, and you just let it sit there until you're ready to serve. And, start, and then you're going to start your rice. And when the rice is done, you're ready to serve. Okay, really easy. Abuelita chicken, red chili flakes, Doña Maria mole uh, concentrate. You cook your, um, a little bit of salt if needed. You cook your chicken with lots of garlic, salt, um, onion, uh, cumin, and um, chicken bouillon. Boil it until it's three fourths done. Put it in a bowl and then you start the sauce. Um, all right, and then you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed the sentence and I hope you can make it.